So uh, there are so many apps and websites that you can use for independent learning. That's something I sent out in February uh, that I tweeted. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm just going to talk about some of them. Um, uh, that is something I've just started to do. So give the normal homework as you would uh, normally. <laughs> um, and then there's the pen and paper version. So um, you give that to them. And then there's some options for them. Uh, I want to talk in detail about a few of these. Uh, and what I'm also going to talk about are some uh, resources from two people you must follow on Twitter. Uh, one is Rachel Jones, who is RLJ1981, uh, and the other is Daniel Harvey, who is Daniel Harvey9. Uh, they've given me some of their resources that you may have seen at BET uh, this year uh, on independent learning and, and digital homework. So that's uh, a resource uh, that I sent out that I'm just uh, trialling with some students. Um, Audioboo is one uh, some people have mentioned already. Uh, so uh, all the devices I'm going to talk about tonight are device agnostics. That means that uh, you can use anything to, uh, sorry to uh, teach you about okay because there are people from ICT in the room, but uh, a device agnostic basically means that you, don't, uh, you can uh, access it through mobile phone or a tablet or the internet and hopefully uh, st students in your class will have uh, one of those things uh, on them or near them that they can use to uh, access uh, work. So Audioboo, uh, as it's been said, has been mentioned. So instead of uh, students uh, writing responses or writing homework, uh, they can record it. Um, they can get a, an account. All of our iPads in school have, uh, have the app, um, but they can access it on the internet, uh, device agnostic. Um, and if your, if your students do uh, some work and they send you the link, then you'll get a thing called a boo. So if you're on Audioboo, you make boos, uh, and you'll get a link like this. So if you, just, uh, if, if you could just click on the, on the link. So if I click on that link, then it will take me to their site, a bit like Facebook if you posted something on there, uh, and it will take you to uh, that site that that student has made. CFC is going just, just pause 1930. that. Um, so uh, CFC is not the most in, uh, kind of engaging topic in terms of what you can do in a classroom with it in experiments. Um, so uh, I've got students to make uh, some audio boosts for that. And then uh, the great thing about this is I can give feedback through the same system. Uh, because this is a device agnostic, on the bottom it's there, it says Mr. Sanderson's feedback. If we just listen to five seconds of that, um, then just, yeah, thank you. Hi, Mr. Uh, and you get the idea for that. Uh, so thank you. So I did that on my mobile phone, walking around the house, uh, making a cup of tea, so I didn't have to sit down with a pile of books and a lamp, the traditional marky marky, dewey dewey. Um, I could do it whilst I was out. Uh, you know, walking the dog, if I had a dog, but you get the idea. Uh, so that's, that's, that's the great thing about that. Um, oh, sorry, could I have my uh, presentation back? Thank you, sorry. Okay, uh, so uh, some students were very sensitive about uh, you sharing their work with the class, so this has been sent to me, please can you shall not share with the class? Uh, so just something to be aware of, because it does feel weird when you listen to yourself talking back on something recorded. Um, so uh, that's, that's uh, audio boo. Um, so that's, that's that one. Um, the, the examples I'm going to show you now uh, were made by uh, Rachel Jones and Daniel Harvey, uh, uh, Bet, and some of the ones that I'm now trying to use. Um, I'm not here to sell you stuff, but when I looked at the website for that, it does look amazing. Um, if we just have a quick look at that. Basically, that's a video in real time. So as if you were watching me on the, on the internet or however I was doing that, um, it has, uh, you could talk to it, but then you can bring in pictures and maps. So if I was talking about another country, I could bring in that map and manipulate it in real time and zoom in on things, uh, and it is very, very exciting. Um, problem, when I've tried to use it on my iPad mini, it was quite slow and clunky, so it may, there may be an issue there with, with how fast your device is. Thank you if you could just uh, go back to the presentation. Uh, so that's, uh, that's uh, uh, TouchCast, which, I'm, uh, which is very exciting. Um, Evernote, uh, this is a student who uh, wants to do medicine um, and had to really have a look at exam technique and uh, uh, producing excellent work. So Evernote's very good because you, it's basically an online uh, share, uh, file sharing system. So you could have one as a class or one as a group of teachers. So in the teaching and learning team that I'm part of in my school, uh, we're trying to do that in order to share some resources. So that's a, a great uh, thing for your in, uh, independent learning. Tumblr, uh, you may have accounts where you're sharing pictures, so imagine having a homework where uh, they have to uh, collect pictures about a certain topic or comment on certain topics. Again, you can have one as a class. Uh, there may be an issue there about access as a school because Tumblr is blocked on our school, uh, so that's not something we're using at the moment, but uh, we're, uh, you know, one thing at a time. Uh, Audioboo, I've already spoken about. Glogster is an online blogging site which you can add films and pictures and uh, words to do. 
Uh, I won't spend a lot of time on that. Uh, Twitter, again, may be an issue in some schools, but uh, something that uh, has been sent for, uh, used for independent learning is uh, imagine you are a character from a book or a person from history, what sort of things would they tweet and what would they say? Again, you could do that as a class or as individual kids um, and then tweet as, in this example here, uh, Caesar Augustus. Um, the people, uh, Daniel uh, Harvey, who's made that one, and uh, Rachel, Daniel teaches science and Rachel teaches classics uh, and sociology, so the example, a lot of the examples we're looking at uh, are theirs. Uh, vines, uh, some people have already spoken about vines, it's a six minute clip. Um, in the example that I'll show you on here, sorry, if you could just uh, click that, thank you. Um, it is six seconds, so how, how, what can students achieve in six seconds? Well, it's actually probably quite a lot. Um, and also that it can send you more than one. It's how those students use it. Um, for this one, this is a student uh, just learning a definition, but because she spent quite a long time on it, she, she obviously, uh, it, that kind of stuck in her head and now she's... Uh, now she understands that, uh, or might be just telling you that she finds it confusing. Um, but it is uh, a, great, a great resource and something which, you know, with any of these apps, it's just something we need to explore and try uh, and see if it works for us. Thank you, sir. Can you just go back to the presentation? Um, okay, so the next one I'll look at is uh, video YouTube. I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on that, but that is something uh, students can use for independent learning and projects, uh, the video and uh, uh, Vimeo. Uh, Pinterest, again, may be an issue in terms of access in schools, uh, but you could set up one as a class or, or as individuals collecting together resources and pictures on different topics. Thinglink I'm very excited about. Um, basically, that's a, a picture that you embed films and links and pictures to. So if, I was, if this was online and I was to click on one of those, that would send me to, uh, to different websites and different pictures uh, and that kind of thing. And finally, Meme Generator, I'm seven minutes, so uh, very quickly, Meme Generator, basically we see these pictures tweeted and uh, emailed all the time, um, but picking pictures, relevant pictures to do with a topic, um, again, difficult perhaps to do in one picture, or uh, very savvy kids could do that very quickly, so perhaps they might need to use more than one. But those are just some examples of uh, independent learning digitally. Cheers.